When playing Starfield, if your controller or gamepad is not working on your PC and you want to know how to fix it, you are in the right place. We have got some effective solutions lined up for you. Welcome back to Silicophilic, your go-to source for tech tips and fixes. Before we move forward, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. It's free and helps us a lot. We do tons of research to find the working solutions for you. Your little support will help us continue making solution videos for you and others. So let's dive right in. Method 1. Check all connections. Before we move forward with fixes, ensure your controller is properly connected to your PC. If using a wireless controller, make sure it's paired correctly. If using a wired controller, plugging it into a different USB port might help resolve connection issues. Sometimes a simple restart can also fix the connectivity issues. Restart your PC to fix any minor glitches with your computer. Method 2. Update all drivers. Sometimes outdated controller drivers can lead to functionality problems. Visit the manufacturer's website to download and install the latest drivers. You can also manually update the device drivers. On your Windows 11 PC, Open the Device Manager from the Start menu. Look at your controller here. Right-click and choose Update Driver. Also, disconnect any other controllers and ensure no unknown devices are present. Method 3. Disable Steam Input If you are using Steam, you can try disabling Steam Input to fix controller glitches. Open Steam and navigate to your game library. Locate Starfield here and right-click on it. Select Properties. In the Properties window, go to Controller from the left pane. From the drop-down menu, select Disable Steam Input. Now launch the game and check if the error persists. Method 4. Re-enable Steam Controller Support. For this, open Steam on your computer. On the top left corner, you will find the Steam option. Click on it to expand and click on Settings. From the left pane, go to the Controller tab. Over in the right panel, disable all the toggle buttons. Now, depending on which controller you have, enable the toggle next to it. For instance, if you have the Xbox controller, Enable the toggle next to Enable Steam Input for Xbox Controllers. Method 5. Verify Game Files If none of the above solutions worked for you, verify the game files to repair any corrupt game files. Restart your computer and launch Steam again. Next, you can either right-click the game in your library or click the gear icon from the Games Library page on the far right. From the drop-down menu, select Properties. Select the Installed Files tab and click the Verify Integrity of Game Files button. Steam will verify the game's files. This process may take several minutes, so wait till the issue is resolved. And there you have it. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and troubleshooting guides. Leave a comment and help others know which solution solved your problem. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.